Hey everybody, David Barnes here with IBM. A couple weeks ago I put a video out on YouTube where I showed our project Big Sheets doing sentiment analysis on Twitter data. Now in that video I go step by step through the whole process and it's about 14 minutes long. Well people have asked for a shorter version, you know, a more concise version, so that's what I've created here. It's about four minutes long and consider it a pre-bake, right? I, I show a little bit step by step and then I jump to the results. If you want to see the full version, it's still out on YouTube, youtube.com slash IBM ET info. And the one other thing I have to mention that I forgot to mention in this demo is that Big Sheets runs on top of Hadoop. Hadoop does the heavy lifting under the covers. Um, also Big Sheets in this is using IBM Many Eyes for visualization, IBM Languageware to create the analytic routines that Big Sheets runs on Hadoop but you can use other tools for visualization and for the, the analytic creation as well. So I think that about covers it onto the demo. So this is the Big Sheets user interface. What you see on the screen, you can consider worksheets or spreadsheets. What I wanna do in this scenario, I'm going to Twitter. I wanna get all of the tweets where people mention Android, iPhone, or Blackberry. Then I'll run sentiment analysis on those to find out, do people like, dislike, hate? And then I'll take it one further and I'll look at those that want to actually buy something. They show some interest to buy and I'll list those by which devices. So the first thing I need to do is I need to import data. Now in this case, I could actually grab information from the web. I could go to my computer. I could go to traditional database management systems or data warehouses or what I'll do here is I'll select custom and then I'll use a Twitter stream importer. I give it a name, my user ID and password, how long I'd like it to run, and then the keywords iPhone, Android, and Blackberry. And when I save this collection, it begins to run. I'm now out at Twitter pulling down all of the tweets containing those keywords. So rather than run that for 36 hours, let me show you one that I already ran. I went to Twitter, I gathered those keywords, any text containing those keywords, and in 36 hours, I got 305,438 tweets containing that text. Now, I want to, as a worksheet user, run a macro on this. I'll select a macro that does the Languageware sentiment analysis. Languageware, a tool from IBM, goes out and looks at the text of the tweet and it determines are people interested in buying the brand, are they buy company, buy target, etc. Once I execute this sentiment analysis, we can see that 58,223 of that original 300,000 showed some sentiment. In this case, fantastic, special, glorious, amazing. My next step, I want to take those and find out which ones are interested in buying. And the results, 2,618 showed some sentiment that they wanted to buy one of these devices. So in about 36 hours, I found about 300,000 tweets that mentioned iPhone, Android, or Blackberry. Out of those 300,000, about 58,000 showed some form of sentiment. I like, dislike, hate, and out of those, 2016 or uh, what was it, 2600 showed some desire to buy one of those devices. And if I want to look a little further to see which devices they might be interested in, Big Sheets has the ability to use visualizations. Now this happens to be IBM Many Eyes. If I want to take a quick look at a tag cloud to show me which ones were mentioned the most, the larger the font, the more times it was mentioned iPhone is spelled a couple different ways, but you get the point. Quickly finding insight from big data. And sentiment analysis is just one example of how we can use big sheets with big data. Here's an example where we went to the UK Parliament website, scraped it, and we found out what politicians were voting on which bills. We've also used big sheets to analyze things all the way from cancer data research to intellectual property and more. So those are just a few examples of how IBM is using Big Sheets to exploit the power of Hadoop 
and help our customers to find insight in big data. I show a lot of other examples in my other videos, and you can find them at youtube.com slash IBMETinfo.